off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Hi everyone, just got back from my little walk Just went around our neighborhood But I got motivated to hang up 4th of July stuff So I'm starting to bring it in and decide where to put things. I also have a new area I get to decorate this year. I did switch out the little basket that's out there. Um, and so I'm going to bring the pineapple in and probably the candle too. Um, maybe even try and find a, actually I do have a stars. I do have a stars candle. It's not colorful. Oh, it's not stars, it's polka dots. But I could put this one out there just cause it's white. Um, but maybe I'll try and find a, 4th of July one at Marshall's or I need to go to the what do you call it thrift store and try and find a um, little bedside table a little coffee table type thing because we did order my couch I want to put you down somewhere but I don't know where <laughs> um, I did order my couch for up in my room and I need to look for a very cheap little table to go next to it just to put um, drinks down on or whatever, you know. Um, I can't do this one-handed though. <laughs> so I will kind of take you along, excuse me, um, on this little decorating journey with me as I kind of pull in things to decorate with. Um, these were obviously outside um, in the sunshine. They're pretty weather stripping. Um, but I also have things like um, little garlands that are really cute and these are good knickknacks for the trays on my table um, same with there's a little flag right there and a tea towel I don't ever use these I just decorate with them oh I do I was looking for these at Marshall's and I couldn't remember if I had little 4th of July napkins so that's handy all right, so I'm gonna undo a few of these things and I will show you how I'm decorating for the fourth. Okay, I'll start out here with what we've done. I've just added a few little bubbles, that white candle and the two tea towels. I've got a lighter to light the candle. I am gonna put some felt on the bottom of this little tic-tac-toe board that Kaylee made because it's, I don't want it to scratch this and we're moving it around. It's hard to pick up, so you kind of have to like slide it. Um, but it's cute out here, people play with it. Um, so I like this. It matches the red-ish pink flowers out here. I'm laying the cushions out to dry in the sun. Um, and I'm letting the rug dry here from the rain before I pull the whole table out as well. Actually, I could probably... No, that's not wet. So that's what we have out here. And in here on my little stand, I didn't do very much different. I added the napkins in here including just folding one on the outside so you could see it. Um, and then I added this little garland across here. I just grabbed a screwdriver and unscrewed these little screws here in order to put the loop around the screw to connect it and then I just tightened it. But I thought that looked kind of cute. And then I added a little star over here so that there's something kind of visual from all seats in the house. And this, is, this needs to get cleaned. <laughs> but it is cute for the 4th of July as well. I need to get a rug for right here. So <laughs> I'm already starting to bring in stuff. Here in the kitchen, I didn't want to do too much. Um, I had this cute little jar with straws in it that I loved having because it's so bright. Um, then I grabbed a Coke bottle that I have up in the cupboard. I save a couple of these when I buy these. These are the Mexican Cokes um, because I might want to put like a little flower in it, a little blue flower. And then the white picture just kind of looks pretty. But I don't like things to be on my counter. And I already have a ton of stuff that has to be there. Um, and so then I didn't change anything with this one as well. Except for the little salt and pepper shakers that I added up there. I think there's another set to this one. I think there's a truck. But I, I don't know where it went. Then on my shelves out here. Literally didn't want to do very much. <laughs> I normally like redo the whole shelf, but I ended up just putting out my little letter signs um, that said proud to be an American. And then I just put up this little garland here. It's, I just, I like this one. My friend made 
well, she sent me the um, kit blank and then I added the um, paper to it. But I did wanna do quite a bit on this front table. It is what you see when you first come in the door. Um, so I just grabbed a whole bunch of my wood boards and little trinkets and whatnot. Then I moved my truck over from the shelf, um, added the little wood blocks, the star, this firework sign, and my star flag over here, as well as a little star swag. It actually lights up. The little battery pack is right down here. I haven't decided if I want it to light up or not. We'll see tonight when it's dark and <laughs> I likely will want it. Um, but then I added our picture frame here just for a little pop of extra color. Out front, I added um, new pinwheels in remembrance of my mom. My mom loved summertime. So I'm just gonna keep the pinwheels going, but I added these ones. I love these ones from Target. They did a couple years ago. Um, I just love them. They're really durable. They're on wood sticks, which is a little, not as durable as the plastic ones, but this is like actual like hard plastic. So they're very durable in the rain and they're able to fold back down so I can keep them from one year to the next. And I, I do like them here. I decided to put them up on the front of the porch instead of along the path. I just want them to be a little bit more discreet, but still have them out here. Look at them go. I like them. Then we have little red pads here on our bench. Um, they're not my favorite. They don't actually go on the bench. Like they didn't come with it by any means, but they are nice to sit on. Um, and then I also have my little barn um, wind chime up here. You really can't see it. It's like the worst lighting, but it's kind of cute up there. And then of course we have my red and blue flowers over here. This one is doing better on, the, on this side. Um, but the back side is the one that was like really damaged when I first got it. So it's still kind of coming back to life. And then this one is the one that survived the most, but it really shrivels up the most when I don't water it for a day or two. Um, so it's going to perk back up later this afternoon. Um, and then it has like lots of little buds. So eventually it'll have a lot more on it. Okay. Ashley and I are out running errands really quick. Um, I'm gonna go look at the um, Goodwill store for a side table for my bedroom and maybe a new lamp or two. Um, and then if we have time, we're gonna run up to Marshall's and look for the same two things. And then she hasn't decided if she's gonna come to the movie or not. Or I just did, don't know. You just I've don't know. I've already seen the, air, the Little Mermaid, but yeah. Yeah. It's the same thing, it's just I know. live action. It's just live action. I, I really think it'll be good, but she hasn't decided. So Chelsea is at home and Chelsea does want to go. So in case Ashley doesn't want to go, we will drop her off at home and I'll pick up Chelsea and I'll just take Chelsea, which is fine. Yeah. Either way. Okay, we struck out at the Goodwill place, right? Yeah. We only have 25 minutes though. Yeah. Where's my car? Yeah. <laughs> uh, check over, here. over here. Gotta be over here. <laughs> oh, over there. Found it. All right, we're kind of seeing a few things here that are promising. I kind of like this one, but it's kind of falling apart. It is on clearance, but it's falling apart. So the, the chair legs are gold. So that's why we're kind of throwing in gold. We ran out of time, so we're gonna hurry and go buy these. Your girls are going to use this little dot notebook for church and play the dot game. Okay, we made it to the movies. We're a little late, but we're avoiding all of the um, premieres. Previews? Previews. We splurged and got a soda and an icy and popcorn. Guess what? There's a shortage on pink paint because of the Barbie movie. That is true. Is it true? Yeah. They use so much pink paint that there's a shortage on stuff. Did you guys like it? Yeah. It was cute, huh? Ashley was kind of poo-pooing it. We already know the story. It's not anything new, but it's so good. They added new music to make it extra and uh, 
kind of a fun different ending I don't know it's the same story but they just made it fun and unique and I don't know it's just cute I gotta tell you it's good it's huh good. all right because we're over here by Old Navy and we don't come over here very often we're gonna go in and take a peek Ashley um, cleaned out her closet today so she made it clear she needs more things she may not but oh that's really cute well, we struck out at Old Navy. So we walked around, I finished getting my 10,000 steps for the day, and I got a few things. Not what the girls wanted, but I did get a few things. I got another, I went to TJ Maxx. Got another basket, because I like the one on the couch downstairs. Yep. So I'm gonna put this one with like remote, spot to hold my water for the time being until I get a little stand, and then um, whatever. I just really like it downstairs, so I got that. And I have looked for large bowls with lids that are all like nesting in on each other and I have never seen one so cheap so there's four one two three four bowls in here and they all have great lids and this is perfect for the summer for when you're like taking dishes to like picnics and whatnot and you want a lid on it I don't have any large bowls with lids on it you want to hold that for me but I think it's time to go home sugar has worn off no. Correct. All right, we are home making a little dinner. It's eight o'clock. We've been relaxing and doing nothing for, I don't know, an hour, 20 minutes or so. Um, I'm making chicken nuggets and tater tots for the kids and me for a little. Um, but when I went to turn the oven on, you'll see, saw that there's cookies in there. <laughs> Luckily, I preheated the oven and instantly wanted to just go ahead and put the chicken nuggets in. Um, and I realized that Abby made cookies last night and left the last batch in there and turned the oven off to kind of finish cooking them. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of cook them a little bit more. I don't think that they fully got cooked. Um, <laughs> they're almost done. But I am starting with veggies. I am learning, my sister-in-law showed me a bunch of, or one lady in particular. I remember what her name is on Instagram. I will link her down below. Um, it's like a health nutritionist type Instagram account, but it's also um, teaching you how to not have glucose spikes, um, and you can have the same amount of food, not necessarily like calorie counting, as long as you eat food in the correct order. And I had heard about that before. Um, we have been starting to do that ourselves. I think that kind of plate, but. Um, if you eat food in the correct order, you won't have those insulin and glucose spikes. So if you eat your veggies first, which Abby doesn't eat most of the veggies in the garlic pasta bucket, <laughs> or bags that we get from Costco. So I have like a whole half a bag or so of just veggies that I get to eat. Then you eat your protein, and then you can have your carb, whatever that version of carb is, potatoes, rice, whatever. So, you can eat all the same things, but if you eat it in the right order, it's better for you. So, we're gonna end with that. The battery's about to die. We're having a good night. You wanna say good night? You have a fun day? Mm -hmm. Felt warm today. It's gonna be 81 degrees tomorrow, so it's gonna feel like summer is here. Crossing our fingers. Usually we don't get it until the 4th of July. We still have a few weeks before the 4th of July, so wish us luck. Um, I hope you enjoyed the 4th of July decor. That's also my little plug for, come on, Summer, let's, let's start this. Let's do the 4th of July. So.